everybody, I'm Liz from The Geek Group, and today I am at Ron's workshop. Ron is the president of the Grand River Woodturning Guild. It was great for you to invite us out here today. It was fun. And, and we turned with another member of the Woodturning Guild, we have Scott. Hi. And Aaron from The Geek Group wanted to learn how to turn wood today as well. So we are, we are here to work on a manual wood lathe. Yes, much different than her CNC. <laughs> it is much different than the CNC. <laughs> And this is, this is quite the workshop you've got set up here. Thank you. It's two weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to, to turn a bowl. What would be considered a bowl and a beginner's bowl? A beginner's bowl? Yes. Okay. What, what makes it a beginner's bowl? A, a simple bowl, simple shape. Okay. Okay. And learning to use the bowl gouge. Okay. Excellent. Okay. It's, gonna, it's, it's, it's a great project. It is a great project. It's where everybody starts. Okay. Okay. And I told Scott I specifically wanted to learn how to turn a bowl because it's one of the few shapes I can't really turn on the CNC. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make a lot of sawdust. Yes, we are. All Absolutely, right. a bunch of dust. Okay. I, excellent. All right. Have you turned on a lathe like this before? Manual lathe? No. Nope. Only CNC? Only CNC? <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> Probably what I'll have you do is just make some shavings. Get a feel of the tool in your hand, what it's like. Pretty round. Who wants to go first? Okay, we're gonna start with the bowl gouge. Okay. Okay. It's sharp. We're gonna cut right about here. Okay. Okay. You're gonna hold it against your hip, and you're just gonna introduce it. You want it down to it. Okay. Apply a little inward pressure. And the more pressure you apply, the more cut you get. Okay? Uh, I want to show you something. This is okay. the flute, okay? Uh -huh. There's only two times to turn. Two okay. and ten. If you're going to the right, it's two o'clock. If you're going to the left, it's ten. Okay. Okay? So if you go in like this, it's going to grab. And I okay. mean really grab. So you roll it over. Okay. And just lead it across. Say close your flute, that uh -huh. means roll it a little that way, towards, okay. more towards two o'clock. There you go. Now, just sink it in. Drive it in. Now start to come towards me. First cut is going to be on top. Watch your camera now so it doesn't come at you. Okay. Like this. To make a curve, you can't you you can't make a continuous curve all yeah. at one time hardly. So you do here, come back to here, lean in, and come around. Okay. 
And it's all in your body movement. It's not in your hands as much as it is your body. Two o'clock. Right about there? Yep. Drop your right hand down a little. There you go. Now open the fruit just a little. There you go. Okay. You gotta move your body, yep, exactly. There you go. Alright, when you're making the cut, here, mm -hmm. let me show you something. You start like this and just stay in one spot, okay? okay. And now just lean in. Okay? Mm -hmm. some off that curve. So is it, is it easier one way or another? Yeah. Now when you, you want to go this way, which is called up the hill, mm -hmm. put it in your left hand up here, up here and then come around. Okay. Now we're going to close the face more, okay, and you're going to lean in. You're going to fall backwards now, okay? Okay. And you can see I'm not applying much pressure to do that. So do it the same way. This way, close it, and come back this way. Okay. Okay. And see, see these ribbons coming out? They're real fine cuts. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a much smoother cut with something like that. Again, against your hip, right hip. Let your right hand come down. There you go. Good cut. Part of that's going down the hill. Okay. Okay. When you're going down the hill, these fibers want to break back so. Mm -hmm. But it's really pretty good. And you haven't had a chunk yet, have you? <laughs> Go ahead. Let's come to this end. Okay. And let's round this up right down through here. Take that wobble out. Right 
hand down. There you go. Let's try doing this way, right hand against your hip. Okay. And just ease into it, okay? And it'll, it'll eventually take it out. This is an easy wood tip, carbide tip. It's their bigger one. It's fairly, it can be aggressive. Mm -hmm. Now you, you hold everything flat, okay. parallel to the ground. Take a look, see what your 
Okay. See if you got tear out. Just turn the fan. You push the red in. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. This is probably not the best wood. This has started to dry up some. Uh, I cut it this afternoon. <coughs> Which one do you like better? Um, I don't know, actually. To debark with, I use this a lot and to shape. Okay. And then when I really get down to, to final shape, I use the bulk out of it. Okay. When's your next day on? We'll make that a bowl. Oh, I've got a ten in there. Part this off. Any uh, any Started taking shape and yeah, yeah it with it. he decided to put a little shape to it. Go towards the center, close your flute even more. Keep going. Now you want to take it in steps, okay? Right. You're gonna. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Since it did fly out, watch that. Right. <laughs> even with a face shield, it's not safe. Yeah. This whole outside is torn off. 
This needs 40. Yeah. Oh, you can look at it. It really needs to be burned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very unhappy piece of wood. Yeah. But yet that piece that I just took off is all <laughs> you want to do cut it through the tip? You can do whatever you want with it. Somebody from the club gave it to me. Oh, really? After someone else dropped me off a dozen uh, elm crotches, they gave me the straight one. I'm like, well, I'll use the other ones first, so.
back to the spray. There you go. Yeah. It doesn't matter, just lean into it. Yeah, that's good. So big, okay. it's grabbing too much. So work back out here and take some of that. Down. Work that direction. Now walk around, see again mm -hmm. what happens. Turn that off. When you hit right there, see how much of a bite that is? Right. Okay, and we want about half of that. Okay. Okay. So now start at that point and work that direction. That's a great looking piece of wood. Is it? Yeah. That's from the same tree as Matt's art price. Is it really? Oh, that? Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's got steel on the bottom. Oh, the top too. I think I flipped today. When you're going in like that and it's grabbing, mm -hmm. all right, go back and position yourself. Okay. And let's bring it back like that and then ride in. Okay. I yeah, you push in. Now nope, go towards the leg. Get right to here to lean in. There you go, there you go. Keep leaning, keep leaning. Follow the curve. Good cut. That's the hard part for me. Yeah. Yeah. Easy, because it's not that easy. Put your hand on the pro bar. There you yeah. go. Cool. Lean into it and it'll help you make the turn. I want you to come back up here and start in here. And cut to about there. Okay, now that what happened is you were at this angle, okay, yeah. so it catches. So come around to here and then start in, okay? Yeah. I get the stance right in. Okay, now close your flute. Roll it over. There you go. Ah. 
close it. Get a little open. Now, I'll show you. Here's the bevel right here, okay? So what the, what they want to teach you is to ride this bevel. So what you do, start like this, then lean in a little and follow it around, okay? I got a little too far in, but then you can ride that all the way down, okay? Move that out to get a better start. There you go. So start with the bevel again. I think it's just, I'm just not used to the weight. Would you rather use this lighter one? Sometimes you get better feel with it, okay? So again, lay the bevel in. There you didn't get much lighter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, bowl steady? It got prettier. It's got that going for it. What kind of truck do you have? 50. I got a 100 millimeter, but I got that size for a 50. The, uh, the Super number 2? Yeah. G3. G3. Thompson or this one? Whichever one you're comfortable with. 
try this one. He wasn't terribly comfortable with the big one, were you? Oh, uh, I was doing okay, but I think I'd just take a little more getting used to. Um, what it's, sort of speed should I go at? Uh, hold on, it's probably at about 800. That seems a little fast. <laughs> okay. I tend to turn a little fast. Let me take that. We've got one guy to talk to. Personally, I have so I'm used to turning kind of fast. I'm going to take the center out for it. Yeah. Let me show you how to do that, okay? There's two ways. You go at it like this, ride it high, stick it in. See the curls that come out? Yeah. Okay. The other way, let me get a nipple on here. Now you take the bowl gouge, get under it, and come up. Okay. Okay. I like going in this way. You press in, and the curl comes out. Okay. That's the one thing I hate with money. Oh, yeah. Everybody hates it. Right. <laughs> wood burn it. Wood burn. Throw it in. Throw it in your mill and just put a nice little groove in it. Groove in it. Burnish it. It could be kind of cool to do a little copper stripe in there. Actually. Yeah, it would be. I hope I put that away somewhere. Oh, good. Yeah. I just have the fear it's going to end up down there in the bottom. Oh, the stuff. Yeah. 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 Chuck, go for the key. Oh, I probably put it in the tool tray over there. I believe it's tool tray. I don't know. I didn't know where the magnet went for it. <laughs> Just stuck it somewhere where I knew it would be found yeah. eventually. Yeah. People do that to me all the time, and I spend 20 minutes looking for it. Over there, yeah. <laughs> where it's supposed to go. That elm doesn't that. smell good. No, it doesn't. It smells better than oak. Now, if you look, see these two eyes? Yeah. They're almost evenly, mm -hmm. okay? And that's what you try to get. The bottom of this, the bottom of this are even. Right. It gives you a symmetry in your bowl. And that comes from how you tip or tilt this. It is an impressively symmetrical. 
It, it is, really, if you look at it. Better to be lucky than good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a lot of sanding. Okay, because okay, we didn't really clean up this outside. Well, I'm good at sanding. Yeah. Abernet is good for wet wood, too, because yeah. you can clean it. Okay. It's you much lighter now. With some shavings. <laughs> much yeah, lighter, yeah. So we've, we've got two bowls here. We do have two bowls. Uh, one obviously is more beginner than the other, yeah. <laughs> and the second one is an elm bowl. It's beautiful. It just needs, you know, sanded and finished, and it'll be a great bowl. It's very symmetrical and beautiful. And it's still very wet. It is still very wet. It's going to take days to dry, uh, but as you sand it, it's going to dry too. Okay. okay. Control nice. the cracking. If you see a crack, mm -hmm. see a thing. Okay. Instantly. I can do that. Okay. So we'll make sure to show you the bowl when it is completely dry and finished. And, and maybe we can finish this one too. Yeah, figure out something to do with it. Excellent, well thank you so much. Thank you, I it's, had fun. Yeah, thank you. I hope you did. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, let us know if you want to know more about wood turning because we'd really love to share it with you. And as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. It's been a fun day here at Ron's Workshop. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.